in prison every morning was like uh, either alarms or people screaming on a tear, intercoms going off. Now that I'm free, I like to just take it like a slow and steady and peaceful place. Not a day goes by when I don't think about the harm I caused when I was a child. It was three weeks after my 18th birthday and I agreed with two other friends to commit a robbery. When I committed this crime, I was in a place of trauma autopilot. Like I didn't think about anything I did, right? Everything was just a reaction out of trauma. I'd spent my entire life in the foster care system. Foster care felt like a disease. It left this deep sense of inferiority, of like not feeling good enough or deserving of love, right? Not feeling like I had any value. The person I am today is so different from the person who was sentenced. I'm not moving in trauma autopilot no more. I'm moving with thought and care and empathy. I love you, sister. I'm finna slither in to work, all right? All right, brother. I love you so much. Okay. Love you more, sister. There's this crazy conception that we're just gonna all get out and just, you know, do harm. That's not the case. Like, so many brothers on the inside, like, all we talked about for years was, like, what we would do with a second chance. Prison makes everybody OCD. I research bill ideas, and I push bill ideas. I meet with legislators. When I was sentenced to prison, there wasn't much programs in prison. There was a few elders who were incarcerated with me who believed in me and saw the kindness I had in my heart and also understood the hurt that I've been through because they've been through it, and they mentored me. And, and that, that was like how my whole journey started. I always try to squeeze out time to like write an old school letter because I remember how much it meant to me on the inside. Moka so mo regular, moka so nam regular. Moka goi kuang, moka chai nam. I'm trying to find a gift right now for Lupe just to symbolize like our baby we got coming on the way. Love you, baby. She's been carrying me through like my hardest times while I was incarcerated. And now that I'm free, like she's everything to me. When I was resentenced, my sisters had a brother again. My daughter had a father again. My wife had her husband again. My mother had her son again, right? Like you're, you're creating a fuller, more healed community. I'm not an anomaly.